Hello everyone, welcome to Age of Gladiators. Uh, Creative Storm Entertainment sent me this game, and I figured I'd go ahead and give it a little bit of a playthrough here for you guys here. It looks pretty cool, right up my alley. So, without any further ado, let's get started. So I've looked a little bit into this game. I kind of almost know what's going on, but not really. So there will be a lot of reading involved. A name. Well, let's go... Terranitis. Terranitis. Itis. Terranitis. Maximus. The third. The first. Terranitis Maximus the first. Because that's as much as I can type. All right. And we'll go for... Can I... Okay, enter. How do I... I don't know how to, to deselect here. Backspace. Aha! Uh -huh, so I couldn't go that far. So I just had an issue. I went too too many characters. Got it. Okay. Whatever. It's fine. Um, let's go for this guy because he looks cool. Okay. Choose an origin. So we can start as a merchant. So we get 350,000 extra denarii. So cash. Holy crap. Ex-Gladiator, more training and coaching. Nice. Perfect fighter evaluation. That sounds good. Injury recovery, no sickness. Fame, reputation, purses, fight scheduling. A reduction on fighter purchase and daily fighter cost. And morale bonus. Let's go negotiator. That sounds powerful. Fighter transactions. So, trade fighters. Makes sense. Player perks, selection of player perks and bonuses. Sure, side quests. All right, Iron Man, whatever. Economy. Let's just make it average. Average seems fine. All right, let's go. Here we go, wow. Okay, so we'll start with approved here. Approved, I am pleased to announce that your application for sponsorship of fighters in our Gladiator games has been approved. Hire your fighters and manage your coins smartly, for you will find little mercy in this endeavor. Signed, Quintus Pompeius Rufus, Praefectus Africa Proconsularis. <clears throat> All right, then. So, uh, this is his name, Quintus Pompeius Rufus. His title is Praefectus of the Province of Africa Proconsularis. All right, looks like this happens in Rome. <laughs> You know, where else were the gladiators or games, right? First steps. Your first order of business will likely be finding some fighters for your stable. Uh, stable is a place to keep people. Uh, now it's a place to keep horses, but it used to keep people in it. Uh, you'll need to hire scouts for that. Depending on their networking skills, your scouts will periodically present you with a list of potential fighters to recruit. Next, you will want to check the calendar in your office for upcoming matches. On the day of the scheduled fight, you will be allowed to enter the arena. The more hype associated with the match, the richer the purses and potential bets will be, but the fighters you face will also be tougher. Okay? Weapons. We have weapons for sale at the marketplace. In order to maximize the lethality of a particular weapon, your gladiator should be trained in its use. Be cognizant of your fighter's weapon specialty. Note that all weapon break down from continued use in the arena. Sign, Nonus Lucius, weapons merchant. All right. Armor. Please note you should probably train your gladiators first in armor before assigning to them. Most armor will only slow them down in the arena if they are not properly trained to use it. I would not want to see your fighters killed unnecessarily. But once you are ready, come on down to the marketplace and equip your trained fighters and some of my beautiful merchandise. Note that all armor breaks down. Okay. From Aulus Pettius Armor Merchant. There's no more music. So where are we? Map. What's going on? So we're in Utica. We go to Leptis Magna, Brundisium, and then Rome. All right. So we're not in the top 250 in wealth. And our reputation is neutral. We have no perk points at all. Looks like there's lots of stuff. When we get there, let's see, what, what is that? 10 wins. When we get 10 wins, we can revisit that. Stats, cool, other things. We can retire. So, male, 
Rankings, we are non-existent. Or that's top fighters. Oh, well, we don't have any fighters. Doesn't matter. Bosses. Okay, we have Helva, Figulus, and Pictor. They're very wealthy with lots of fighters. We can actually view. Okay, so see their levels, their stats, and their score and their age. Interesting. What if their age actually matters? I think it would, but maybe not. All right, Hall. Now that's Hall of Fame. Okay, no past fighters. No ledger. We're not spending any money. No journal entries. Calendar? Wow. Low, massive, low. Nothing. Low average. Wow. Oh my goodness. So our stable, we have no fighters. We can upgrade it. Okay. Uh, probably not. Not yet. We don't know how much anything's going to cost. Well, it's staff. We need staff. Okay. So we probably want one of everything. Makes sense. You look pretty good, so we're going to hire you. I'm just assuming higher is better. Hey, we got an achievement. Staffer. All right. So evaluation and network. So evaluation in terms of the accuracy of a scout's grading of potential fighters. Network. How many potential fighters a scout will find each cycle? Hum. I think we should go middle of the road here. Calvus seems pretty good. Trainers. You look like you're garbage. So training. Right, a training experience bonus to your fighters after each day. Very useful. And then coaching. Combat experience bonus for your fighters after each battle. Also useful. Uh, again, middle of the road. I think that looks pretty good. <clears throat> and blacksmiths. Weapons. Turns how effectively your blacksmith can improve weapons. And armor. Okay. Uh, let's go a little cheaper here. This guy looks great. Brutus. You know what? We're going to grab Brutus. Why not? Alright. So, we just need to do well, right? So, what do we have? You look good. Avatus. You look really good. You're also the most expensive. But, hey, you got to invest money in a good fighter, right? Okay, so lots of D, D minuses, nothing too bad. Lots of D minuses on intelligence. So what do each of these stats do? So age, stats decline with age, also determines your fighter's ability to recover from injuries, fatigue, and sickness. Okay, so younger is better. In this case, he wins out on age, but they're all about the same except for you, you're old. Strength contributes to total damage upon hitting an opponent. Important. Stamina, energy while fighting, also governs recovery time from fatigue. D agility determines the chance of dodging an incoming attack. Okay, reflexes is blocking. Dexterity is chance of hit. Obviously very important. And intelligence governs XP gain from training fighting. Okay, well let's grab Avatus. You look pretty good. And you look really bad in Perseus. Oh, you can see the weapon specialty. That's cool. Uh, I want maybe you as well. I'll grab a couple gladiators. Maybe maybe one more. And eh, maybe not one more. So we have two people, Avatus and Perpero. So Avatus likes the Lancia. Charisma is great. What's that? Probably chance... Oh, fame. Okay, gotcha. Height, weight, age, birth, record, kills, all sorts of stuff. All sorts of stats. Chance to hit is 7% because your dexterity is garbage. But your dodge and block are pretty good, I guess. Alright. Uh, let's go back to the stable. To Perperio. Perperio. I feel like we'll need to know this guy because his hit chance is 24. Seems pretty good. You like the Gladius. Alright. Charisma's average. Greed is high. That's not good. So Gladius. That's our best Gladius we can buy. New equipment in 10 days. So... We're not going to have a first fight until, like, March 12th, because they're in transit for three days. So we're not going to have anything for a good long while. So we might want to wait. What do you want? 
Alancia. Yeah, it's just they're they don't seem like they're that good. I guess we should probably buy them just in case. Because we don't know whether or not we're going to get a better deal. Lots of armor. Don't care too much about that. We have lenders. Alright, well, I mean, it doesn't seem like we can do much else at this point. We have to wait for a while. So, what's our... Actually, go to the ledger real quick. We're spending 1500 per day. And we have to make it... So it'll, it'll drain about half our cash as it stands. It'll drain about half our cash. So we could potentially afford maybe one more gladiator. But in 15 days, we get to pick a new set. So I'm going to wait for the new batch. We'll just go ahead and end our turn and wait for this to get to a fight we can do. Transit, transit. What's up? An old Etruscan temple has been discovered buried beneath stone and rubble. They are seeking assistance in clearing the rubble in exchange for a share of the potential riches they speculate may lie beneath. 30 denarii, 30% 30 chance of success. Or 50,000, 5,000 denarii. Wow, okay. 30% chance, I guess. Sure, why not? You need stamina? It's up to three fighters to assist? Ah! So we can up our chance. Sure, 37% chance. Why not? We'll take a risk. It's early. Fail. All right. Shunned. Wow, that actually hurt our reputation. Oh, my. Earned 16. What? Injured. Wow, what the frick, dude? You just come over here all injured and, and just... Wow. 12 days, you're out. That's rough. All right, well. Keep training, guys. We got... Nothing else to do. Lots of experience is being gained. It's March 9th, 10th, 11th. Holy cow. We got there. Let's enter this fight. We still have money. Thank goodness. So we have 1,500 people in attendance. 5,400 is the purse. Wait, 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 wait. Merchandise. Oh, Gladius. Whoa, hang on. So, Gladius and Lancia, right? You want the Lancia. You want the Gladius. Dude. Gladius, Lancia. Heck yes. Okay, back to the office. This fight. Let's go against you because you seem like you're the worst. We'll use you because you're healthy. Yeah. Uh, wait, no. You don't have any weapons. Avitus. Avitus is the one we're using. You want the Lan Lancia. Lancia. We'll just stay the same. Lancia. So 80. So your attack is 110. So it's a straight strength plus attack equals damage. Cool. That's an awesome weapon, too. Alright, well, let's go ahead and go to the office. Go to the fight. Get in the fight. Select you. Yes. Great. Six to one. Let's take a side bet at 2,000 on you. You have a good chance to win. So we have more strength, more stamina, way more agility, absurdly more reflexes, slightly less dexterity, a butt ton of health. Way better weapons. Holy cow. All right. Well, you're level two, too. Level 1, level 2. You're probably done, sir. You're probably done. Okay. Oh, we got him. We got him big time. Well done. So we had how many turns? 12 turns. We took him down. Took him down real good. Nice. First one, 4,300, side bet of 357. <laughs> Boy, we did not gain a lot on that side bet. But you know what? It's more money. That pays for, like, one staff member for one day. So it's, it's something. The crowd is bloodthirsty. The losing fighters executed.
Avatus wins and he's fatigued for six days. Wow, we are really kind of waiting. Oh, we have mail. You've got mail. Scouting. Thank you for hiring me. Know the scouts. Judge potential fighters with a grading system. The better our evaluation skills are, the more accurate our grades will be. But our networking skills, more fighters we can present every 15 days. Important to note that there may be times when none of the fighters we present to you are of high quality. It's up to you to decide who you wish to recruit. Another boss may snatch up a good fighter first. You need to be decisive. Through better coaching, trainers help gladiators grow and improve. Grow fast. What? Help gladiators grow and improve. Grow faster after each battle they fight. I think it's a typo. Our training skills contribute toward a fighter improving faster while practicing. Doctors lessen gladiators downtime from both wounds and sickness. Better healing skills in both areas allow us to return your stricken asset back to the arena faster. Let's see. Upgrade the quality of your fighting equipment. A gladiator is next to useless without the very best weapons and armor. Sloppy fights. You'll notice the fighters between experienced gladiators can be a bit sloppy at times. And starting out, their aptitudes have not yet honed. So they will inevitably miss a lot of their attacks, lose their breath quickly, and inflict little damage when they strike. But as their skills grow, they'll become more eh, efficacious, I want to say, in the art of fighting and killing. So keep at it. And morale. The morale of your fighters is very important. Fighters will become disillusioned with the following. Betting against them, not paying them, executing another fighter, putting a, f a fighter in the arena while sick or injured... Allowing your stable to fall into disrepair, not sharing enough of a purse, or allowing a fighter to die in the arena. In turn, you can increase morale by improving your stables, increasing salaries, providing a larger share of fight purses. Fair enough. Seems like we're pretty good. It looks like... Looks like fatigue lowers all of his stats, from what I can tell. Worth noting. So food is more morale, more pretty much everything. All of these are. They're all the same. Okay, and then prison and guards, minus 6 morale, plus 10 security. No thank you, and then capacity is just extra capacity. Fair enough. So in the calendar, we have an average fight up next. I don't think we really need that right now. Let's go ahead and wait. So it's 16, tired for five days, injured for three days, gain morale. Hang on. Uh, give me my weapon back. You can deal with your weapon later. Okay. So we could go in to this fight, but I'm going to say no. Let's try to go into, like, easy fights. Wow, that's it? Ouch. Not a lot of decent fighters either. Huh. Alright, well, that's that's too bad. Strong and then mild. I guess we're just going to sit and train for a little while. But we're running out of money. We have mail. Hey, mail. Oh, hey. Congratulations! Ave Lannister! Your first win was most impressive. May you and your family of gladiators enjoy the taste of many more victories. A lucky win. Do not do to be blah, blah, blah. do not be too proud of your victory. I will exact revenge upon you and your pathetic fighters soon enough. Sponsorship. Perhaps you'd, perhaps you'd be interested in sponsoring the games. A generous financial contribution would increase the frequency of scheduled fights in the following month. Okay. If you're interested in keeping your fighters happy, you'll eventually want to upgrade food, shelter, and sleeping conditions. All these things will increase their morale and training speed. However, if you do not wish to pander their every whim, you can opt to turn your stable into a prison instead. With enough security upgrades, your stay will be impossible to escape from. Your files will hate you for it, though. The choice is yours. Fair enough. Back to the calendar. A staff member needs attribute points assigned. Staff skills. My skills have increased under your employment. As we continue to work, we become better at our jobs. Alright, so it's under staff. So it is. Look at this. So we can choose evaluation or network. Uh, I want a better evaluation, please. Training or coaching. Training. Injury or sickness. Injury. Weapons or armor. We only have weapons, so weapons. Okay. 
We have a fight today. Any bosses usually send their best fighters to highly hyped matches. So the hype is high on this. So it's it's strong. 6,000 people. We need the money, though. Otherwise, we're going to go into debt. So I guess we should go to Helva. Who are we putting in? I'm thinking maybe Porpurio is who we put in. Doesn't have great agility, but he does have great dexterity. And you like a Gladius? So there's a Gladius. All right. Well, get in the fight. Wow, really? He's expected to lose. That's kind of unfortunate. Well, let's just go ahead and see what happens. 7 and 0, oh, level 6. Wow. Oh my goodness. We beat him in reflexes, but he beats us in everything else aside from damage. Jeez. Come on. You can do it. Perpurio, you can do it. Yes. Ho! Perpurio came through. Well done. Scapula down. 12 turns. Holy cow, he did it. The losing fighter is brutally killed in battle. Well done, Perpurio. 14,000. That's very useful. And he's only fatigued. Even better. Congrats on the win. So he's got 395 of 2,000. You've got 700 of 2,000. Okay. Fame is newcomer. All right. They're enthused. Their morale is just all over the place. All right. Uh, salary is under two. Let's repair. Okay. I guess it just kind of happens. We don't have a lot of other matches, so we can't afford to buy anything else. All right, let's go ahead and win this fight right here. Let's keep fighting you. Your average level is still two. Hang on. Uh, Avatus, you're the one that's going in out there. You like this weapon. Okay, let's go do it. Avatus. 13,000 is the purse. Five to one odds to win. We'll make a big old side bet and see if we can make some cash out of it. Okay. Cursor. He has one. But we beat him in everything but dexterity. Come on, Avatus. Come on, Avatus. Get your stuff together. You guys are, are really missing here. Come on, Avatus. You can do it. Let's, let's skip this. Fast forward. Who won? Aha! We won as we expected to. Minor injuries and fatigued. Oh, 1,400 on side bets. There you go. And the crowd is bloodthirsty. Cursor has been executed. Fantastic. Well, guys, that'll do it for this first episode. Remember, if you liked the video, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel and share with your friends. Best thing to do for the channel, as always. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time with some more Age of Gladiators. Thanks for watching. DFTBA.